Do you want to upgrade your webcam quality from this to this? Well, with just some simple changes within OBS as well as your camera, you can get it looking very nice and ready for any kind of content or any kind of recording you're doing with it. And how to get a DSLR camera quality visual out of your webcam. So if you want to know more, stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. What you're looking at right here and then this video is a $69 webcam that shoots in 1080p. Now I would say this almost rivals my DSLR camera here. You can see the comparison like it's still pretty good quality. And my DSLR camera is also doing 1080p 60 frames per second. So the webcam I'll be using as demonstrations within this video is the Obsbot Meet SE. This webcam might look tiny and minimal but it packs a lot of punch when it comes to quality and features. But trust me any of the settings I'm going to help you out with within this video are going to be beneficial whatever kind of webcam you are using which i'll say at any point if you guys are interested in picking up this webcam in particular i have a link in my description as well as a pinned comment and for full disclosure obsbot did send me this webcam to do a review but my thoughts and opinions are my own so the biggest thing you can do to help out the quality of your webcam it's the light that will hit the sensor now this obsbot meet se does handle low lighting situations very well so let's say for example i want to turn off my ring light here right because not many people have one of those I'll turn off my accent lights, right? Because not very many people have those as well. And you can see how the lighting quality is. And then like I said, I'll just utilize my monitor that's right in front of me here to hopefully light myself up a little bit better. But you can kind of see like how it's just like this basic setup right here. It's actually like not too bad, right? But when you're first plugging in your cameras, the first thing you want to do is try to set up a good lighting source of where it's going to be consistent and something you would expect to have quite often. Then you layer on the next section here. The next section being the hardware on the camera itself. Luckily with Obsbot, they do have their own type of settings you can fix around with this. You have different presets here within the Obsbot sensor software software that comes with this camera. And you can see here, for example, that I have HDR turned on for this camera. I have autofocus turned on. The autofocus on my face, which uses AI to recognize that. Auto exposure is turned on because the lighting situation can change, especially for me when it comes to my living situation where I have a window right here where light sources can come in. You want to have that exposure put on auto just in case some kind of variations like that can happen. You have your anti-flicker options, which I kind of leave standard. A big one you need to change, which I utilized when I first plugged in my uh, webcam here for the Ozbot is that I changed up the white balance of it. And everything else with contrast, saturation, sharpness, and hue, I do change that within OBS as a simple filter. You can change some of the settings within the audio of the microphone that's on this camera that we'll test out later. You can mirror the image if that will look better for your content. So once you get through tweaking things, it'll kind of look like this. It will work, but it looks a little dim, a little gray, a little dull, right? So this is where we come in with some different types of filters, right? One is a color correction right here. And I do like to add a little bit of a sharpening just to add it a little bit of uh, crispness to the image. We'll start from scratch though, so we'll get a quick little example of what I'm showcasing for you guys. So the we'll, way to do that, you open up your OBS, go to your source right here, click on filter. So to add on a visual filter, hit that plus sign right down here and go to color correction. Now I already have one applied, so I'll create a new one so we can start from scratch here. Quite a significant difference. And again, I like to add a little bit of a sharpen to the image as well. And the, the default that kind of comes with it is pretty good. It might be a little bit sharper, but other than that, that's the image right here. Like this is what, this is what you see. You can do some minor tweaking here and there, but you see how simple and quick and easy that is. Now, a very important thing to help improve the quality of your webcam is the frame rate and also the resolution, which you can figure that out. But if you go here into the OBS, the Osbot camera here, I type in properties. This is the different settings you can get into. So where you want to change like your resolution or your frame rate, this is where you would come to do it. Now I choose 1080p because it's the highest resolution that you want for your camera, right? Now the frame rate I can currently utilize right now is up to 100 when it comes to this webcam, but you actually can go up to 150 frames with this specific webcam if you knock it down to 720p oftentimes with like say like youtube uh, a lot of things are locked at 60 frames per second so why would you want to have higher frame rates beyond just 60 frames right that seems to be the gold standard well you can set like a webcam like this like the obsbot meet se at 60 frames those extra frames can be very useful if you're doing like a lot of motion type of captures and want to do things maybe record something at a higher frame rate at 100 frames or 150 frames slow that down to have a much smoother motion when it comes to the capture so while you might not be using the extra frame rate quite often, it will come in handy for very specific shots. Now, a really important thing when it comes to making your webcam or at least your video presentation look nice is obviously framing. The nice thing that this webcam can actually do is automatically do that for you with a few hand gestures. The two hand gestures you can do to help auto frame your image here is one with a palm up facing towards the camera 
Utilizing AI to recognize your body shape and hand position to utilize a ability to automatically frame your shot. It will utilize a digital zoom when it comes to making sure you stay within the frames. As you can tell that there is a decent threshold with the camera that I won't go too crazy with it. The next hand gesture is a simple zoom. And all you gotta do is close your fist with your pointing finger and thumb pointed out, and it will automatically zoom to wherever the settings that we talked about earlier in this video are. You can also determine where that zoom goes exactly on the camera. This one I'm just showing in case you knew like, that you can just do it with a simple hand gesture. And specifically with this OBSBOT camera, it does have a mounting screw on the bottom of it, so you can screw it onto any type of mount that you have, but it also comes with a little clip that you can sit right on top of your monitor, which is what I'm using right now for this video. Now you're probably asking yourself, well, Kevin, if you have this nice DSLR camera, why would you want to have a webcam at all? Well, the nice thing about this is that it's very small and compact, right? It's very easy, very simple as well. Just connects in with the USB right into the back of it. You can plug it right into a laptop or a computer and it just starts working right away. Super nice. But the DSLR camera, it's a little more finicky. You got the fake battery you got to put into it. You got to have the 4K like Elgato cam link and stuff like that. Where yeah, you get that nice little extra bit of quality, but you do lose a lot of convenience. So I can see myself utilizing this camera a lot if I'm like say I'm traveling or need to go someplace or need something a little bit more mobile. And this is gonna be a perfect camera for that. Or I could just use the camera as another shot so I can have a little bit more variety in my angles, which is definitely a nice thing when it comes to your YouTube videos. But there is a microphone that comes along with this webcam as well. So we want to test that out right here with you guys. So this is the Blue Yeti microphone that you're hearing right now. And if I turn this off, you will hear the webcam microphone right now, especially if you're like in a meeting or something like that. This is probably all you'll ever need. This could be something that'd be worth utilizing for your first couple of videos. Now I showed you all the things you can do to improve your webcam quality without utilizing any plugins, all the stuff that's within OBS and also within the camera system itself. But a lot of people out there have these things, a stream deck. And I know I said this was plug-in free, but for a lot of people who do have the stream deck, this is something you can do very integrated aspect with Ospa. So you download it here on their website. And then you can bring up different types of settings you can change within OpsBot camera itself. Say I want to utilize that zoom feature with the stream deck here. Just got to press this button right here. That's zoom. And I can zoom in one time. I can zoom in again if I want, or maybe again if I wanted to. If I wanted to move it up a little bit, right? I can utilize these buttons right here to kind of move it up a little bit. There's an option to move it down as well. I can also reset if I wanted to as well. And I wanted to test this out with a different lighting because of a window right here has extra light coming in. You can see our hair on the side of my face. It's getting a little washed out. So I can actually can change the brightness if I wanted to go a little brighter or if I wanted to go a little darker as well by increment however I like. And again, if I mess it up, just hit that reset button. And you can do all of this within the Stream Deck software. So if I wanted to bring something, just bring in a adjust camera option right in here. It automatically detects what camera I have selected. I can choose the property of it being a zoom, compensation, contrast, saturation, sharpness, hue, manual focus, and temperature. Or I can just have a thing of set web camera here where you can choose different kinds of settings you would like to have for your webcam. Like I can turn the auto framing on or off. I can turn off various things like HDR, auto exposure, auto white balance, and everything in between. Like I said earlier, the link to this camera, if you guys want to pick it up or check it out, is in the link in the pinned comment as well as in the description. Big thank you to Ozba for sending this camera. If you guys want to see any other type of hardware reviews, make sure to leave a like on the video as well. It helps out a ton. If you made it this far in the video, help earn your like, maybe even a subscribe. Leave a green heart if you guys made it to the end so I know who the real ones are out there. And thank you all for watching. I greatly appreciate it. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.